so these are the things i wish i knew before living alone and guys i also also asked you on instagram to ask me questions so i'm gonna answer those instagram q and a relating to this video on the end of this video but this is basically like the truth about living alone please subscribe don't be fake okay and comment don't be fake uh i know you have comments i know you have opinions so comment down below it's going one year two months since living alone if you want tea i have tea for days guys when i move out and then i'll tell you the tea guys there's when i first uh, when the idea came for me to move out i really felt selfish but uh, my mental health depended on it period it hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is k muto bear if you saw if it's your first time if it's your first time watching this video please drop a like comment and subscribe and turn the bell to be notified every time i post a video so yeah guys it has been one and a half year since i moved out and started living alone for the first time time ever and um yeah i moved out on 20 2021 february 14 on the 15th i had already moved it was my valentine present to myself and my mental health really 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 really, really, really. i first felt i felt selfish living alone like moving out and leaving my sisters but that was always the plan to move out and live alone before i got married or before i get like just to have my selfish alone time alone and it has been the best 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 thing ever i've ever gifted myself and i'm so happy i did this and i wish i could have done it sooner but you know the unemployment rate in kenya like we have the highest youth unemployment rate and it's so sad when i say this and uh, I could have done it be, uh, earlier because this is not like I tried to move out the first time and my job was not paying me well so and there was a bit of trauma with my sister so I had to move back with him like that was like five seven years ago five I think six years ago right after I finished uh, you I was doing when I got my first job but that is a story time which I will do on on another video or maybe in this video but i feel like i should do it on another video but yeah so this is basically i've noted noted down notes down here i have notes guys i've come with notes because it's a tacky i don't want to be here rambling 40 minutes video or so or you guys like 40 minutes video let me know down below things i wish i knew someone would have told me before I started it but your big sister is here to tell you let you know I've already started rambling guys oh my god if you like this kind of sit downs please let me know by by liking I want like a thousand likes on the comment section down below and we're on the road to 40k subscribers so by the time I post this video I want us to reach 40k subscribers because we're 300 subscribe 300 of you if you subscribe before living alone, I was living with, I've been living with my sister, I lived in a hostel, but it was like roommate situations. And then I moved with my sisters in Nairobi and that was really like a very depressing time. I love my sister, but it was really de depressing time. I was so much depressed because I'm an introvert, guys. And my sisters, we have extrovert, we have ambience like it. And it was just too much opinions and i wasn't living my life for a very very long time and it was very very i was actually really really depressed as now looking back i was really depressed and yeah so number one the neighborhood and environment matter it's sadly but it's true the environment and the neighborhood you choose to move to really really matters the first time when i tried to move out alone it was five years ago i think approximately five years ago and i first got my first job and i was trying to move i was okay i can tell you i was first got the junction casino there was a casino called sunrise and i got that job so i i moved to i think it was a damakade that environment was so uh, uh, it was not for me actually it uh, it was near kibira it was it had cockroaches i didn't even sleep there so 
the environment that you decide to move will actually matter if you continue living your free alone serene life so i i definitely <laughs> I said let the rent actually like if you want that story time let me know down below okay I'll be doing more story time so that you guys can get to know me <laughs> yeah so yeah your neighborhood really matters and the, the thing is the neighborhood has to be safe and the interior also has to be bougie modern you know white 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 everywhere actually I want when I move out of this and I move to the unit that I really like I'm gonna like like do interior contact paper on the cupboards because i hate those brown cupboards i like everything white or black like i will see so been so many weird awesome stuff going on in my building the first time i moved in here someone i don't know if they were intoxicated or they were they had like drugs, I don't know, or OCD. They threw themselves from the seventh floor up to to the main floor. I don't know if they are still alive or whatever. We never got anything, but yeah. So safety also, like I like the the place where I live right now, the way I am right now. I live in a studio, by the way, a very squeeze studio 150 square per meter this is what i can afford so yeah that's why i'm i'm here until i can buy my own home <laughs> god willing so yeah the thing about i like about my my unit right now is we have 24 7 guard security guard and then the main gate we have to use like smart lock yeah is it called smart lock yeah you use your finger you actually have to have your fingers registered and if you have a guest or anyone you have to register also them their id their identification and all those things so i like it it's 24 7 hours uh security guards on the main gate so you cannot enter the premise if you don't have your fingerprint whatever so that's a really good thing another thing is i want to have a latch latch i'll put it here because i don't know how to say english is not my mother tongue guys it's my second second <laughs> language uh so on the door because it's scary guys it's scary i don't know how many people have my key you know because these houses you get a key that maybe the previous owner still have because i'm not the first person occupying this unit maybe the other like i don't know like you just have to to be safe so i'm planning to get maybe a smart lock or to have a latch on the door so when i'm inside i can latch the door from inside the thing that where you get you know when you're in a hotel you have those things like zipper zipper lock yeah so that you can be completely safe i'm investing in that one guys and support the channel on thank you so much k tribe you are very generous like we have k -tribe. my k tribe are so generous thank you for the paypal donation mpesa western union liking this video viewing this video you all contribute to me and you all contribute to the lifestyle that i'm currently living without you i'm nothing so yeah, yeah. let me let let me tell you let me tell you as a satis certified as a certified introvert it is pure heaven living alone pure pure heaven like our government has really failed us because this was always the plan to live alone you know i come from a family of like seven sisters one brother but by the time I was growing up, my brother was already outside the house. So all my life I've been living around, like my family is huge and my family is opinionated. So everyone has an opinion on how you live your life. So it has always been a plan. I love my sister so much, but it's really annoying when everyone is on your opinion. Even when I choose to live here, it was an opinion. Everyone had an opinion. So it has been pure heaven just to have like some privacy, like some things on my on you know yeah so it has been pure heaven just living alone <laughs> guys i have been wanting it's the unemployment our government don't don't like we don't like the average salary of uh of uh, of someone working like employment the average is i'm telling you it's sixteen thousand kenyan shillings 
that's one sixty dollars. What will you do with one sixty dollars? And a single room is ar around a single room, not even a bed sitter, is around um, fifty dollars. So it's it's hard to live alone in Kenya. And maybe a bed sitter like the unit I am in a like in a most the most common like the most local neighborhood, it's nine ninety dollars, nine thousand Kenyan shillings, huh? But the unit I live is luxury. And it's much higher than your normal uh, bed sitter. But we'll we'll talk about that. I'm doing a detail, like full, fully, 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 like a, uh, like everything, naming even the bed, how much it costs me, furniture, everything, rent. I'm gonna do it when I move out of this unit, so that you can see. Yeah. So I know I'm rambling, but you got you. you oh, we already ten minutes in. I am living alone. Living. I'm. Um, I have notes. Living. Living in my own brought me peace is the most freeing time in my life. It's like I am free to do whatever. You guys don't know how much. You know I love traveling. And not everyone, like, everyone has different priority priority in life. So when I used to live, uh, when I used to, before I moved out, like, people always had opinions like, why, why are you traveling? Why are you doing this? And guys, like, most of the, my travels have been funded by funded by 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 companies like sometimes i work with airbnb sometimes like um one of you subscribers request me to be a tour guide and uh, something uh, most of the time my accommodation my accommodation and uh, are being paid and transportation are being paid the only thing that someone will say is uh for you to afford your own food so my sister my my sisters yes i'll say that some of my sisters do not do not grasp the idea that oh that's a lie like actually that's a lie you can't be like you can't be traveling your ex like people think like you know there's travel leisure and there's travel for experiences so for for the most of the time i have traveled for experiences because i don't have a f afford the luxury but in future i will i know inshallah like the india one mm -hmm. shout out to my <laughs> oh they know themselves so yeah so uh most of the time when i travel uh people or fa my family that were around me at the time will uh, will always question like oh you have so much money why don't you why are you doing this you should be buying a house instead of traveling and to me traveling is a priority i love traveling actually i feel like i'm in a bubble like I get creative when I travel and I share, uh, like I experience the local cultures and some people don't really understand this when you travel. So, uh, I feel like I've been so free. I've traveled a lot the past year. I've been living alone. I, I answer to no one. If I, I, if I, if I, if I spend too much money, it's on me. I know I'm, I'm the one who's going to sleep, uh, uh, hungry. If I don't do like, uh, no one has, it has been so free being alone no one knows my business like all my business if i have to have to a booty call it's my business it's no one's business you know yeah so it has been heavenly guys i love it i like my character it is my personality i'm an introvert so it has really worked best for me like yeah <laughs> it has been really it's have have a lot of peace because sometimes i'm my personality i'm not confrontational so when you're living with people everyone has different opinion and most of the time i will feel like i'm the when i'm in it and what jayla is saying when you what we look for us in bills could begin and yes in our mia so most of the time i'll feel me i'm the nasty comment down below please translate it for my other people who, who don't know kiswahili to know that yeah wait uh, it's uh yeah i really felt selfish because Oh, I felt like my sisters were always there for me, you know, like, uh, because when we were living together, we split bills, it was actually cheaper. But, yeah, because I was thinking, like, maybe if I, I have, like, I can afford to have a rent, like, m instead of uh, moving out, we can move to a three-bedroom because we are, like, three sisters at the time living together. So I thought, like, maybe we can move to a three-bedroom and each of us can have their bedroom. But I felt like it wouldn't make me grow. And also, 
asked a lot of people for for opinion like i asked my mom i asked my like i asked my personal trainer edward jenga thank you so much for for supporting me I also asked like david and uh, everyone gave me like the idea like if you move out alone okay you won't save much but your mental health for me my mental health I, I, I like my mental health, mental health depended on it honestly and uh, I live within my budget I do things that I, I I know I can afford like yeah so I don't live beyond my means I <laughs> I don't eat out much though I would love to eat out that much I cook a lot at home I only eat maybe once really for a month even now it's like two months I've not eaten on a restaurant so I live within my means yeah I haven't saved any okay I've saved my, some money but it's not that much but my mental health depends on it everything another thing is everything is exactly where you left it ni kwacha kikombe pale nitaipata hapo sitapata mtu atanisumbua eh bwana utoe kikombe oh bwana sijui kitakuwa kwa hapa oh bwana umenunua this painting you could have bought another oh bwana umenunua samsung you could have bought lg like all the decisions are fully my own if i want to cook if i don't want to cook it is a depend on talala and ja i'm only thinking of one stomach you know like it is the best like uh, i love that fat like i love it love 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 that love, 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 love it love it so that's the best part and i get to walk around naked guys i walk naked when i'm inside the house i am naked 100% naked. Una scale naked. Naked completely. So that's another thing I like about living alone. I get to play music, TV shows that I want, Netflix show that I want whatever time I want. If I want it to be silent, it will be silent. I watch whatever YouTube, I watch whatever podcast I want to put 50 100 voice I want to reduce the voice like no one like literally anything I want without negotiating with someone else and you know that like oh my god this is so freeing i love that so much when i want quiet time or lazy around nobody's gonna ask me i'm gonna do whatever i want if i want to to to, to not make my bed i will not make my bed and nobody's gonna ask me because who's gonna pay who's paying rent me <laughs> and my space your space is your space hmm? if you want beige chair it's beige chair if you want white curtains it's white curtain nobody you're not negotiating with anyone so that's the best <laughs> and another thing is i get to invite whoever whomever i want whenever i want if i want a booty call if i want my uh, like i get to invite anyone i want they can stay wherever they want however long they want to stay you can do that so no negotiating no looking uh what, what time is my sister coming no, 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 no. actually when i used to live with my sister i never there was a rule no boys in the house no friends in the house just to keep it like uh peaceful you know because we are all different guys uh-huh another thing is toilet paper and basic toilet paper and basic essentials last longer and also your snacks are your snacks you don't get to share with anyone your snacks toilet paper. guys the one thing i've realized about living alone is you know i don't like buying like i don't know like the one thing i don't like buying is toilet paper and that when i buy uga uga ugali to kg it stays like i forget even to go to groceries to buy basic necessities they last longer so i save money a lot <laughs> uh, yeah, another thing is um i don't plan my booty calls i don't plan my travels i don't like to when to when my sisters or roommates are in there i do whatever i want guys like it's the best feeling i love living alone I love living alone. I get to come and go as I please. Unoskia, ni kutoka kwenda lamu, kutoka kwenda India, kutoka kwenda Dubai. Nobody is taking my balances. Nobody is taking like bills on like nobody. Nobody is there to to have an opinion. I do as I fit, <laughs> and 
I focus on myself, on my creativity, especially with doing YouTube. I do, you know, before when I was living with my sisters, because not all of my sisters are all pro YouTube though. So I used to like schedule when is my when my sister is not around when she's at work or who and who is not at the house. That's when I'll do a video. I'll sit down and do a video. Wait. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> it's, it's a blessing and it's uh, annoying. I've way I've way too many people in my life, in my family, and it can be a bit annoying because everyone has an opinion. And when you're, you're an introvert and you are quiet and you're mostly at yourself, people like your family members, most of them tend to have an opinion and they almost like bully you sometimes with their with what you want with their decisions so yeah it has been really a blast of heavenly living alone and another thing you're responsible about almost everything bills 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 but guys i love paying my own bills it's just that it's this economy that we are in but i love paying my bills i feel nice when my rent is due i feel nice when my water bill i'm paying i feel like because i'm so independent i answer to no one when you start paying your own bills you be independent you answer to absolutely no one so i like being responsible i just feel like i was born being responsible his finances got to be good because you know you may like paying bills but your finances do not allow you your wallet do not allow you so the first thing i did before moving out i made sure i had three months rent like i had like three months rent on my bank account i have saved that so because any month reaches fast when you're living alone so you have to pay that rent so like you are good I, I and i'll advise this is a good tip to anyone who wants to move alone whatever the rent it is you are going to let's say for example your rent is fifteen thousand kenyan shillings make sure it is times three of that so make sure you have forty five thousand kenyan shillings on your bank account because before you move out you have lots of money because you're you're alone you alone budget bills well yeah save money save 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 eating when i want to I eat whenever i want to when my leftovers are there i know no one will eat my leftovers i will eat them like it's really good my snacks my food <laughs> yeah nobody gonna eat your food yes nobody gonna eat your food no worries about that <laughs> I have food groceries. This is what I do. So this video is more or so about tips, savings, and um, the pros, the negatives, all of that above and beyond. So I take a lot. I take advantage of sales in supermarket, especially Carrefour. Usually have good, good, good discounts like over twenty four, sometimes like fifty percent off on groceries and electronics and things like that so always download the mf app use my code and uh, save some money on your groceries and your electronics and uh, good things like that so i usually take advantage and do my shopping around that time uh yeah another negative about uh, a, a negative about living alone is i discovered and i never had this even my dad used to joke about Kemuto, you're always eating, eating, eating. <laughs> oh. But since living alone, I've discovered I'm losing appetite. I don't feel like eating. Sometimes I'll just put a YouTube and I do a, a mukbang or someone like that's why I love YouTube so much. And then I feel like I'm eating with someone and at least my appetite come, I can eat something. So yeah, that's a negative. Ah, yeah. when having someone do handiwork also this is like a tip when having someone do handiwork like plumbing or installing your tv or or, or anything on your uh, on on your unit on your apartment make sure your friend or family or your boyfriend is 
with you so that you can be safe because you know it's very dangerous out here and another thing about living alone that i like i do not answer to anyone and that is so freeing bills will come but i'm just thankful i'm able to afford to pay so i'm thankful and i'm continuing thankful because i'm a full-time youtuber if you don't know that i'm a full-time full-time youtuber and you guys by watching my videos as nini nini all those things you are making me afford my lifestyle so continue pause <laughs> i'm gonna put an ad here so that you can comment down below and like this video it's really important to us and it supports us there also another thing to know is instant pot electric pressure cooker and an air fryer i'm not yet to buy an air fryer are your best 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 friends guys like cooking githeri right now i can like make githeri right there and i don't have to check it i can go and do my other business and i don't have to check it so yeah and also another thing i can give you is try and cook guys cooking eating like cooking your own food will save a lot of money and that's why i'm actually saving a lot of money right now i'm not going to go out on a restaurant because i'm saving for a very big big trip i'm doing in december god willing yes unit the way I, where i'm currently living is that utilities are a plus some of my utilities are a plus of my rent for example the like swimming pool uh cleaning like outside the compound uh, services and the security guard and the trash is inclusive of the rent i'm paying so it makes my rent really manageable and i like that something that is exclusive maybe is uh, electricity and water those are i pay ex ex uh, pay <laughs> those are not inclusive yeah so another thing and the security guards also are inclusive so that's a really good thing so the negatives of living alone guys furniture is expensive a good bed a good mattress they are expensive and i always take like i'll, I'll do a video because i saved a lot uh when i waited out and bought stuff during major sales so yeah so and also marketplace like right now i sold my chest of drawer which hurts me very much because i love that chest drawer but i didn't because i work from home for a long time i didn't have a work home home desk work home workspace desk so i had made a very painful decision because that chest drawer was given by my elder sister and it's really it is really a good but it has gone to a good hand i sold it on one of the facebook pages so now that space where there was that desk it was humongous i wish i could have a space because i would have it i would have it because it's it it was really a good chest drawer guys but it's okay so i'm waiting for uh i'm looking on facebook pages to buy like second hand facebook pages where you sell what you don't use so i'm looking for if you're watching and you have a home desk i'm looking for something like 43 inches in width yeah and a chair uh, a comfortable chair to work there so i want to put that desk where my chest door was because i'm living in a very small tiny studio and i have to have furniture that makes sense and conducive for me now because i work and edit from home i need that and uh, yeah if you are selling if you have a desk uh, selling let me know because i'm on the lookout i'm always on the facebook marketplace and i wish i knew earlier about facebook marketplace i would have saved a lot by buying beds from there yeah because i've seen a lot of really good things on facebook marketplaces yeah i uh, don't feel pressure another thing is don't feel pressure to keep buying furniture but what is essential and also tape measure is your best best of friend why my bed and my sofa i bought my bed and my sofa at dr mattress and actually my bed i wanted a four by six because of my swell is small and a two-seater but guys i believe my two-seater is almost like a three-seater because it's huge it's huge like maybe it's a true two seater but it's almost like a three seater it's so huge and my bed is almost like a five because the measurements is i think 120 but like uh, dr mattress increases the inches 
of our bed and I, 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 for my bed I have no complaint but actually I wish I could have measured and maybe go upstairs downer because my space is huge and also that's why I'm not uh, hurrying up to buy a desk and maybe some side side stools yeah and I don't end side stools so I'm waiting I'm always on Facebook marketplace searching 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 for good deal I am uh, yes another thing is negative is loneliness and responsibilities for me I don't feel that much lonely and when I feel lonely I'm thankful enough I have my sisters living around so I usually go there or I'll travel I'll do like I'll make activities that make me because you may you may end up like staying in a lot and that's not good for your mental health even if you're an introvert you need people sometimes to socialize so i always maybe go to a restaurant to java at cafe supermarket my best place to go is cafe to rivers and just uh, feel like yeah uh but i never get lonely so i'm lucky about that but if you're an extrovert i believe you'll get lonely like my sister nala she's an extrovert but she knows how to balance her time okay another thing is when when you are sick like last when i when you are sick and you're living alone i'm always scared about that because uh, if you don't know guys and this is one of the big thing but that my mom uh, mom always fears and she has this fear up to now because my sister my elder sister she she was killed she was murdered while she was living alone she was just living like she had moved out and she, i don't think she even completed one year living alone and uh, sadly she got i can talk about this because it's like almost she died when she was 29 so it's almost like over 20 years ago and i was this thing is always sad to me uh yeah so i don't want to talk if you want this story time i can do it on another video because it's really emotional to me to talk about this I'm not sure if I'm able to talk about it all but yeah when you're sick I'm always like recently experienced that I felt like my head uh, had menstrual migraine I knew this because I had to take myself to the pharmacy for the pharmacy to I told my friends because I had like a pounding migraine like headache it was on my scalp I could feel my scalp and I had tried to take painkillers for like Panadrexa like after every four hours and I took like four pairs of painkillers and the headache would not disappear. I've never felt that headache before in my life. So I, I got I got up, I dressed up, Lucky David was around and uh, he took me to the pharmacy and uh, I told the pharmacy I had just gotten, I had just finished my menses and uh, i know i didn't drink enough water and he told me i should check my blood sugar he measured my blood sugar and then he just told me it's basically your hormones i had so much estrogen or low estrogen, i don't know but he told me it's about menstrual migraine and i googled much about it and they gave me some nsi nsaid uh, some stronger painkillers and thankfully that went away yeah so i was scared <laughs> i was so scared and i'm always scared when i'm sick and i'm alone but i'm lucky i can call my sister or someone yeah and my dawa also is really good because they can deliver you your painkillers but i always make sure i have like painkillers advils and things like that around the home uh yeah another negative is carrying big groceries packages and heavy items i hate that but luckily for delivery they can be brought to your doorstep careful thank you so much <laughs> paying for everything by yourself uh i don't mind this one but maybe you may mind i am dealing with rude and careless neighbors guys the reason why i want to move out of this unit is because of my neighbors they have bad smell of food i don't know what they cook uh and they're noisy they're just fucking noisy and uh, people keep on knocking on your door strangers 
so that's annoying i don't even want to talk about it i'll talk it when i have moved out of this place i have another thing is landlords incompetence to keep things afloat and when dealing with tenant problems so sometimes i've come to realize and if i was not harsh sometimes uh, like right now I want to move to another unit. It's difficult. I don't know why it's difficult because I have to pay a full month Like I have to pay everything like I'm moving afresh, but that's okay I've come to terms with it because I just fucking want to move from this unit I, Water if I'm not careful with my water like the sometimes they give me wrong readings and I have to go back and forth with them so that I can get the good reading of my meter because sometimes they like last month they put my water bill and I'm just one person or maybe two sometimes I have guests but there's no way I'm spending like my monthly water is 2250 and normally it's 450 Kenyan shillings it can't shoot up that I only spend three units when I have a, a visitor maybe six units but now it's coming like I don't know, like to, because we pay 150 Kenya shillings per unit. So th they were asking me to pay to 250. So I had to go back and forth with emails so that I can get co the correct meter readings. Oh, yeah. Uh, another thing, it can be so isolating. So you have to balance it out, go on dates, go on restaurant dates, visit. I'm lucky I have family around. So when I feel that, I go and visit them or they come and visit me vice versa just 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 try and create a balance and what works for you uh there's a very emotional story time uh i think i'll do that in another video because we're already like i think it's already 30 minutes long so i'm gonna do that in another video so loneliness responsibilities those are the major things when you're living out alone so you should you think about it if it will fit with your personality with your lifestyle and you get to know about it another thing is um you need it to move in a very secure neighborhood i'm lucky i'm a very secure neighborhood although my neighbors are crazy like crazy not crazy like weird crazy like the life having fun like there are sometimes parties loud music but for me i don't mind i think that's why it, the reason why i moved it here because it's more like more of a community like yeah so those are the things those are the safety let me know down below if you've lived alone like any story time anything best tips uh, anything you want to add on this comment down below do you enjoy living alone are you currently live, living alone are you planning to live alone what is your circumstances let me know in the comment section down below i enjoy these sit downs very much i love them very much like it's a blessing guys i'm so happy and let me answer your questions so follow me on instagram because i asked about you guys to ask me some questions uh, let me see I asked you like how many uh, four hours ago wow so I hope I will I, I will be able to answer them you asked me about them so I'm gonna answer them and in case so this video is already done and you I'll answer some there oh I've got some questions guys I'm not famous on Instagram so I say I just love your space look so special I'm gonna screenshot them put here i love your space it looks so beautiful thank you so much thank you i feel like it could be better but i'm happy with the pieces of furniture i, I purchased but i want it to be better <laughs> i want to improve it and i'm just waiting to move to another unit so that i can improve it and i ask, ask do you work or just do youtube youtube is work guys uh, I'm, I'm amazed at this question because social media is big now some people are being I know people I know social I know youtubers and I've seen the analytics and they get paid more than a common manager in Kenya right now so if YouTube is in your if you want to start YouTube or Instagram or TikTok start now guys start now also are you still seeing David I feel like I, I, 
I've been strategically on the videos I've put out right now and I don't want to repeat the things I did in 2021 and 2020, 2020 and 2019 because I don't want for obvious reasons some questions like this one and I've ri really tried to, to 2022 to to bring things on my on my channel that I'm trying to avoid some questions that i feel like i don't want i don't want to be that youtuber but i have to I, I want to keep some some things i don't want to have to explain myself if things happen i don't want i just don't want it and i i, I feel like I, I feel i regret showing that part of my life online actually yes i regret it because of this kind of questions yes i regret it so much so i don't feel comfortable I don't I just don't want this kind of questions so yeah another one as it gets really lonely sometimes that's for sure but for me I really I'm an introvert so I cherish a long time like guys I'm so weird I don't know are you the same how does it how does how does it it to pay rent with the salary that fluctuate every month <sighs> wow that question is really is really a good question and it really is i'm gonna answer honestly so when i decided to move out alone i was really afraid with them because you know youtube you get you get paid with the views and sometimes you work with brands sometimes not it's really a very hard it's really and that thing made me fear moving out alone for a very very long time and it was my number one priority like i was like how am i going to pay rent i first i try and and took a house because right now with the salary i have i can maybe live in a two bedroom apartment but i chose to live in a studio bed sitter apartment so at least i can save up for 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 the bad months but it was really, I was really scared. I was actually really scared when I was moving out. But I find a formula that really works for me. And uh, I try and live within my means. I don't overspend. And uh, it's really hard. I'm still like, but thank God, ever since I moved out, God has seen me and my seller, my, 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 um, monetized views have gone up and up like money the money youtube pays me has gone up and up ever since i moved out because i i get more creative and i feel like god just sees you when you work harder and you're the one who's paying your own bills there's a way that god just keeps on make you not lack anything but i have decided to have other incomes but youtube is my main income but I do some other things but uh, that I'm not really willing to share yet. So, yeah, I think that's all that there is today. Thank you so much for watching. The other questions that, because I've posted this secure and day like four hours ago, if I get another question, I'll maybe reply them as I go. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on TikTok, please. At Kemunto Bear, the same username I use on YouTube, on Instagram. But please follow me on TikTok. I love TikTok so much. And I'm always there. Thank you so much. Bye. And we are on to 40k subscribers. I can't believe it. We made it. And thank you so much for making me afford this lifestyle. I'm going to be doing a full house tour when I move. Because right now I've put things on hall, deco and things like that my plants have died i feel like i'm stuck until i move out because i am not i'm happy with the the, the complex i'm not happy with the unit i don't know like yeah bye thank you bye and thank you for the questions